Shalom. Apostle Hart coming back at you with this truth, giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakat Kodash. Rakat Kodash meaning um, Holy Spirit. This one to uh, Matthew's uh, uh, 28, the 28th chapter when our Lord Yahweh Shai gave the great, the, what the Christian is called, uh, what is called come to be known as the Great Commission. You know, he told them to go and preach to, to all nations, and those all nations are talking about Israelites that are scattered throughout all nations. And I'm going to do a, a video hopefully tonight. Um, I'm working right now, but after I get out, get out of work, I'm going to, um, I'm going to uh, hopefully tonight or sometime this week do a video because I put a bunch of scriptures together dealing with Israel being scattered. Anyway, um, going into my subject, I'm going to entitle this uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 9 and 4 is coming back in a big way. There's going to come a time because we know that we're in the, in the end from all these signs that we see taking taking place around the world, how things are coming together, the position that uh, the so-called U.S., which is Babylon the Great, you know what what they're doing over there in the Middle East, and uh, what uh, Donald J. Trump or President Donald Tra J. Trump, the King of Babylon, you know the decrees that he's making. Um, uh, uh, he he um, he um, made a declared that uh, they're going to bring uh, tariffs against any nation um, importing uh, steel or uh, aluminum. And that's going to turn into uh, a trade war. And it's going to hurt this this country uh, economically. You know, you have uh, the BRIC nations, which represents... Uh, the BRIC nations is an acronym for uh, what was it Br uh, Britain, Russia, India, uh, China, um, and uh, South Africa. Then you have an, uh, another agreement with uh, China and Russia. Uh, China, I believe, is, buying, is uh, purchasing oil from uh, Russia, but they're not converting their money to uh, the Federal Reserve notes. They're just doing the trade. So basically, people are just doing their own thing. They're not concerned about what the United States you know, has to say or the representatives of the United States have to say about what the hell they, what they're doing. Because they see that this place is going down. They see that the current president, they perceive him as being a, a, a clown, all right? Now, maybe the man means well, you know? You know, the man is not experienced in politics, or maybe the super elite above him put him in that position, and he really didn't, didn't even want to be the president. You know, who knows? I don't know what, what's really going on. I can speculate as to what's going on. But anyway, everything is coming into place uh, as far as prophecy is concerned, and this place is getting ready to be destroyed um, Isaiah the 34th chapter is getting ready to take place in a big way that's that destruction that's going to come upon Idumia which is the Greek way of saying Edom um, and many other scriptures uh, Daniel the 7th chapter you know we all know those scriptures by heart uh, Daniel the 7th chapter the ninth verse on down when the Most High you, you how Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai brings his judgment. And, I, and it's right around the corner. It's, it's literally right around the corner. Um, so you have to be ready. As I said a day or two ago on one video, I do so I say so much stuff on different videos. I don't even remember what video I said this this made this statement on and that made that statement. Anyway, all you guys that are men and women that are 
that was a part of uh, knowing that you were Israelite. I'm talking about you one, one Westers, as they call us. And you, and you people went back and turned your back on this truth and went back into the world. Because there was thousands of uh, brothers and a handful of sisters that basically went back into the world. What I mean by that is, they might know that they're Israelite. They might say, well, no, I, I still believe I'm an Israelite. But wait a minute, are you out there on the highways and the byways? Are you out there pushing that word? Do you have your hand, did you keep keep your hands on the plow? Because a lot of you um, fulfilled um, uh, Luke, the ninth chapter, in the 62nd verse. Any Anyone that take of his hand off the plow and look it back, back is not fit for the kingdom. So, you know, we see that the Most High, he's going to destroy a lot of Israelites. At the same time, he's going to destroy a lot of Edomites. Well, he's going to destroy all the Edomites in America because there's going to have to be Edomites left so we can enslave them and the other nations. But I've been, you know, this has been on my, my mind heavy for the last, I would say, couple of days that the Most High is getting ready to do something big. He's getting ready to make things happen. And when he, you know, brings death, when he brings that judgment, he's not going to stop. It's just like a, a water faucet that drips. Well, he's going to turn that water faucet up full force and um, it's going to scare a lot of people all you Israelites out there that become scoffers and you turn your back on the truth and you think this thing is a big joke the Most High is going to bring judgment against you man you know this is serious business well, you're dealing with the Most High man you're dealing with um, the Supreme, you're dealing with Yahweh by Shemmy Yahweh Shai. This is not no joke. You guys take this truth lightly, man. You know, guys, you know, they'll they'll break off from GMS and then everything that we taught them, or damn near everything that we taught them, they didn't change it, change it around and said, no, this means this and that means that. And the Most High is going to kill every last one of you, man. He's going to bring judgment, man. And the Most High is going to make it where we, we hear about it, where it's going to be public. The Most, God, the Most High, Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh is going to bring judgment to you guys that's been taking this truth as a big joke. Like it's, like it's you know, it's, it's a game to you. And you got, a lot of, you got a lot of jakes out there that know that the Israelites and don't do nothing about it. They don't push this word. They don't acknowledge who the men of the Lord are, the true men of the Lord are. Most high gonna kill a lot of y'all, man. It says both made. Well, it well it speaks about um, the mark in uh, Ezekiel the ninth chapter. It says, "But come not near anyone that have the mark." Now you got other Israelite groups because they don't know the Hebrew and they don't go to the Hebrew. They don't realize that that word mark in um, Ezekiel the ninth chapter. It's different from the word bark in uh, Revelation the 13th chapter. In Revelation the 13th chapter, the word there is um, uh, uh, kar karagma, which means something that you uh, prick in, like you take a, you you, you uh, the doctor gives you a needle. Well, that's a karagma. The Greek term would be karagma. Now the now the term for now the now the word mark in um, Ezekiel the ninth chapter, the word in the Hebrew is fawa, which basically means exempt from judgment. So who's going to put that mark on us? The Most High by way of the angels. In other words, the Most High is going going back into uh, the uh, the Passover. When the death angel destroyed the Egyptians, um, the mark at that time was to take the blood of the lamb or the goat and take the
the blood and put it on either side of the doorpost of your house. And when the death angel came or the grim reaper came, which is our, our Lord, he saw that blood and he spared your house. And when you read that in the scriptures in Ezekiel, the uh, 12, uh, I'm sorry, it's Exodus, the 12th chapter, because we were reading it that day, we were going over through, 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 through those different scriptures, excuse me, and it said that the, the, the deaf angel is going to look down and going, and, and going to see that blood and go over your house and spare you and your family. And um, it said that you had to stay in the house all night. While the Egyptians and them heathens didn't know what was going on, their firstborn of their sons, their cattle, were being put to death. And then when you go into the Apocrypha, it tells you about apparitions, ghosts, um, things that, that 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 they couldn't explain, they were experiencing, and they were they were they were bugging out. So the same thing is going to happen now. And this in this judgment. Is going to be the most horrific judgment of all the judgment judgments, worse than the judgment of Egypt, because this is the last time we're going to be in captivity, and this is going to be a great uh, deliverance. The Most High is going to deliver the elect of Israel from the four winds, as in Matthew's 24th, 24th chapter, and the rest that are left on this on this uh, on, on America or Babylon will be utterly destroyed you know people people are going to be catching heart attacks shitting on themselves peeing on themselves fainting people are going to probably kill themselves to not see that uh, you know their, their, their demise that the most high is going to bring them and this is going to be a strange sal salvation man because the Most High is going to cause the um, the uh, the ships, which are the uh, chariots of Israel, to cover the skies, man, from one end of heaven to the other, and deliver, or for lack of a better term, beam up the elect of Israel for the four, from the four corners of the earth. This is going to be a spectacular de deliverance and a uh, horrific uh, destruction to the ones of you that don't have that mark. Ezekiel 9, the word there is uh, for why. So for all you in individuals out there that your eyes are open to this truth and you turn this truth into a joke and you doing what the hell you want to do, the Most High is going to get you, man. And the Most High is good. And you're going to know that it's the Most High. You're going to know that it's the Most High. And the Most High's, but right before He kills you, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna know that the Most High killed you. For all you guys that thought this thing was a joke. For all you guys out there that went back into the world and you went, you know, you went about your own lives like you've never been in the truth. You know, you got a lot of guys. They they'll 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 leave they'll leave Great Millstone or get kicked out because of their wickedness, and then some of them try to get back in. Uh, some of them become scoffers, and that's all they talk about is what how terrible we are. They don't even talk they don't even talk anything bad about Esau, man. They ain't got nothing bad to say about Esau. Esau is all right with them. Moab, the, the other nations. They don't even talk about the destruction of America. They're just teaching some bullshit. They change the scripture scriptures around. They're leading others astray. And you ones and the ones of you that follow these guys, you're gonna receive the same destruction as as they're gonna receive. And I've been thinking about this. This has been in my 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 in my mind and my heart. That the Most High is going to do some major things, man. And Esau is getting ready to do some major things. Remember, before the destruction come, this devil 
the beast, he's gonna institute that that mark, which is the microchip, and he's gonna present it to the whole planet Earth. Now there's gonna be certain people, you might have homeless people, homeless people or whatever, people that live in the mountains, you know, people off the grid that, you know, won't get that mark. But if you're a part of the system, man, if you got a job, if you want to be a police officer, if you want to be in the military, if you're part of the military, if you're a civil servant, you know, if you deal with uh, the credit card system and so forth, you know, if you're on the grid, you're going to have to take that chip. In other words, you're going to be, to, to prove that you're a part of the system, you're going to have to take that chip. Now, when that happens, and, and I always speak about the mark of the beast being a chip. I'm, I'm always doing videos on it, man. If I see a vid, a, a article uh, uh, dealing with the the, the, uh, the mark of the beast, the microchip, guess what? I'm going to do a video on it, and I'm going to read the article. And really, I don't even got to bring out scriptures because we already know them scriptures by heart, man. We're living, I got to steal a line from the Matrix. Uh, we're living in a very exciting time. Because this is the destruction of you Edomites. That's why you Edomites are fighting so hard to try to counteract what we're teaching. Look, we're teaching the truth, man. And you're not going to, and look, the Most High set us up and the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. The hour of temptation is near at hand pursuant to uh, uh, Revelation, the third chapter, 10th verse on down, mainly in the 12th verse. You're all going to be tested, man. And that test is going to be that, uh, part of that test, a major part of that test is whether or not you're going to receive that mark. Because you got certain Israelites out there that are saying that the mark, the mark of the beast is Christianity. And uh, how in the hell is it going to be fucking Christianity? Because it said the beast is going to force you to take that, 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 that mark. Now the beast, the, the, the beast has nothing to do with Christianity, man. Back in slavery, the beast wasn't in power. The beast, the beast was wounded unto death. The beast came back into power when they set up NATO in uh, the EU, which was uh, uh, 49. Uh, that was uh, that was uh, when the uh, uh, NATO was established, and I believe it was 57, 58. 1957, 1958, when they established the uh, EU, which which it was called a uh, bunch of other names, I believe the the, the uh, ECC or the EEC, the European Economic Community. Then they had a, the name changed again, but now it's known as the EU, which is the European Union, and they have their own money system, which is called the Europe, um, the Euro. Excuse me. But ultimately, they want to do away with the money system, as I've been saying, as the other brothers, uh, apostles and elders and up-and-coming teachers have been saying. This, the, the money system, man, when the money system, when they switch, when they change up the whole money system, man, that's when they're going to introduce that chip to you, man. And the people that are not aware of it, they're going to take it, man, because they're going to make it chic. It's going to be chic. Um, it's going to be the thing to do. Take that chip. They're going to have celebrities push it. Jake in the, in the, in the hip-hop world, the sport world. So, of course, you're going to take it because you, you, you follow your idols, man. You're dumb upon your idols. So, the next big major thing that we're going to look, that, that you're supposed to look to is... Uh, the mark of the beast being a chip. And you're going to be tempted. But the Most High said, pursuant to uh, Revelation, the third chapter, that he's going to give you the spirit not to uh, be tempted by it. But the ones of you that the Most High didn't give the spirit to resist that, that mark, you're going, you're going to accept, you're going to take that mark, and you're going to be destroyed, man. 
and you're gonna be a part of that mushroom cloud, which is uh, uh, Isaiah in uh, the 34th chapter. When he saw Babylon be destroyed, he, he, he it looked, to him it looked like a scroll being rolled together. Well, that's that. Well, that's what the white man calls the mushroom cloud. And we've been saying this for years. You know, we sound like broken records, but that's all right. Because I'm, we're hitting the key scriptures now. We're hitting, it's all about prophecy, man. 2018, the year of prophecy. I look, I pray and hope that all the prophecies come, come to pass in this year, this year and uh, 2019. It'd be nice if it, if it, uh, if it, uh, everything took place in the year 2018. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom. So you better get you you better get serious out there, man. And for the ones of you that turn your your took your hands off the plow, there's nothing. You might as well enjoy yourself, man. Make the you know just you know worship Satan, man. So you, maybe he can make you hit the lotto and you can enjoy yourself until it, the missiles come. Anyway, you'll be all right because you're gonna come back in the kingdom anyway. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say Shalom.